Good morning. Welcome to Holy Name Cathedral. We extend a special welcome to those who are visiting us today and to our parishioners. Before we begin our celebration of the Eucharist, we ask that you please take a moment to turn off or silence all cell phones and mobile devices. Thank you. The celebrant of this Mass is Father Andy Matajevic. Please rise. The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Baruch. During the Babylonian captivity, the exiles prayed, Justice is with the Lord our God, and today are flushed with shame. We, men of Judah and citizens of Jerusalem, that we with our kings and rulers and priests and prophets, and with our ancestors, have sinned in the Lord's sight, and disobeyed him. We have neither heeded the voice of the Lord our God, nor followed the precepts which the Lord set before us. From the time the Lord led our ancestors out of the land of Egypt until the present day, we have been disobedient to the Lord our God, and only too ready to disregard his voice. And the evils and the curse that the Lord enjoined upon Moses, his servant, at the time he led our ancestors forth from the land of Egypt to give us the land flowing with milk and honey, cling to us even today. For we did not heed the voice of the Lord our God in all the words of the prophets whom he sent us. But each one of us went off after the devices of his own wicked heart, served other gods, and did evil in the sight of the Lord, our God. The word of the Lord. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the corpses of your servants as food to the birds of heaven and flesh of your faithful ones to the beasts of the earth. For the glory of your name, O oh Lord, deliver us. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem and there is no one to bury them. We have become the reproach of our neighbors, the scorn and derision of those around us. O oh Lord, how long? Will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? 
For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. For the glory of your name, O Lord, deliver us. Alleluia, alleluia. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to them, Woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida, for if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon at the judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. Whoever listens to you, listens to me. Whoever rejects you, rejects me. And whoever, whoever rejects me, rejects the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Our Gospel passage seems somewhat harsh of Jesus telling us the city that they will go down to the netherworld and it'll be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon than for this group of people on the Day of Judgment. But looking more deeper at what he's doing, Jesus is loving them with tough love. He is calling them to repentance. He is calling them to realize what is happening in their midst. That Jesus, God made man, the creator of the universe, walking in the flesh is before them, and they are not repenting. That the kingdom of God is indeed before them as they see the signs and wonders that Jesus does. Raising the dead to life, curing the sick, turning water into wine, and so much more. And yet these people are not being open to the movement of the Spirit. Jesus' heart is full of love and compassion for them, calling them to repentance before it is too late. And for us today, Jesus tells us, open your eyes and see the needs around you. See me suffering in those who are, who are voiceless. See me in those who are outcast. See me in those who need to be loved. Because as we hear in the first reading from the book of, uh, from the prophet Baruch, after the Babylonian captivity, the people, the Israeli people understood why they were exiled from the promised land. They understood what was being done and that God loved them so much that he cast them aside from the city and brought them back rejoicing, understanding of God's mercy and God's love. That our God is indeed a God of second chances. And so as we celebrate this first Friday of the month of October, we're reminded of God's great love for us, that he sent his son Jesus to walk among us, who was sent to the cross to die for our salvation, and whose heart was pierced by a lance to show us that even in our darkest time, we have a place of refuge, of peace, and of salvation. May this celebration of this Eucharist allow us to see that Jesus loves us so much that he calls us out of our complacency, out of our sin, and invites us to continual repentance, knowing that he wants to, us to be with him in heaven for eternity. With one voice and one faith, we offer these petitions. 
or an increase in religious vocations. May the Lord bless those discerning priesthood or consecrated life with generous and open hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all elected and appointed officials, may God work through their efforts in creating a more just society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the imprisoned, may the Lord call the guilty to repentance and impart his mercy in return. And may the innocent be granted hope and healing. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us here, as we discern the daily decisions that make up our lives, may the Lord grant us prudence and a servant's heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon be exalted in heaven with the choirs of angels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the repose of the souls of Brian Bonget, Mariano Bonget, and Simeon Santos, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts. Good and gracious God, your Son, Jesus, mounted the cross to show us your love for us. As his heart was pierced by a lance, blood and water flowed out to show us that we are forgiven and redeemed. Answer these prayers in accord with your will, so we can continue to see your work in our life now and give you glory in the life to come. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, and to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that have become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always, never to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pure side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as to that end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. 
When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For in about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of his death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, with all the bishops and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so bring us also together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, your spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity and a new heaven and a new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress. As we raise blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. See what you believe in and become what you receive. Thus says the Lord, let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me.
Let us pray. Made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Due to a funeral this morning in the cathedral, First Friday Adoration will take place in the chapel. You can access the chapel through these doors on the side, or you can go outside on Superior and exit through those doors. As a reminder, this evening we will begin the vigil service for Bishop Kevin Birmingham, who passed away on Monday. Right of reception of his body will be at 4 o'clock, with visitation through until 10 p.m., with the vigil service at 7.30 p.m., and the funeral mass will be tomorrow at 11 a.m. All events are open to the public, and because of the visitation tomorrow morning, there will be no confession times offered tomorrow morning, and morning mass at 9 a.m. will be offered in the chapel as well. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace. 